Okay, so first of all, two different approaches, two mm -hmm. different logics that need to be applied, separating the new launches from, from the uh, existing ones. So existing ones are easy. So you're looking at the, the history of it, right? And then you're looking at, depending on when you are launching. So let me ask you this right away. When you say history, mm -hmm. is six month history enough? No, um, I'd say 18 months is probably what you need. Um, <laughs> the, the more, the better, really. Um, if you have multiple years, you can identify how stable your seasonal patterns are. Uh, you have more to look at than just what happened last year and how did it change? You can see, well, did the same thing happen the year before and the year before that? And how similar are those things? So that, that can really increase your confidence in the shape of your seasonal curve if you have many years. But uh, if you have 12 to 18 months, you can start to model um, what does the seasonal demand look like. Those first few months are, should be, if for an aggressive launch, should be a steep ramp no matter what, even if it's going out of season because you start at nothing, Amazon doesn't know anything about your product, you have to drive all the traffic and all the sales. Uh, but once you've gotten past those first six months, you should have achieved a certain level of stability and, and momentum on the platform. And so the 12 months after that can start to establish, okay, what does a reasonable seasonal curve look like? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, the reason why I ask that question is because I get asked quite a bit from my clients. They say, okay, how long are we going to work together? You know, how long is, is needed in order for us to say, okay, now we know what to do and therefore we can do this ourselves because mm -hmm. ultimately that's what you are here for, right? So provide the help for the seller. So why yeah. do help uh, sellers need help? Well, if you don't get the help, you're going to have to learn it yourself and learning what Amazon requirements are all by yourself, you're really throwing money away because you, yeah. you, you're going to be using your inventory as your teacher. And that's not really the smart way to do it. So you need help, period. Okay, how long? I tell them this. First of all, allow yourself at least 12 to 18 months to really get a good handle on everything for two reasons. Mm -hmm. Number one, you have your launch. Launch will go away in three months and you'll settle down. Mm -hmm. But then what you need is every little thing that you're going to have to learn once you start ramping up from replenishment to uh, customer service or what Amazon calls customer experience to to, uh, to content, to finance, the accounting, advertising, your funnel, commercial, is a lot. So oh, yeah. you're not going to learn all this in three months. So therefore, we are immediately into 6 to 12 months. So why is it not enough once you get into that second half of the, the, the second six month uh, period? It's because you your historical data is the most valuable thing and you don't have any historical data as a complete picture until you've, you've left 12 months behind. Mm -hmm. And then after that, you can start to make use of it. But really, honestly, uh, the real historical data is what you are putting on top of those 12 months. Uh, but more important, what happens is if you do things right, you're going to start to now handle larger numbers of orders and your challenges will transform into different types of challenges oh, and yeah. therefore 12 to 8 months so bottom line be prepared to be patient and then keep going